Welcome to Mystic Post TV on YouTube, we invite you to subscribe, thank you. Exorcist Monsignor Stephen Rossetti has a very active caseload of demonic possessions, and in each case two vivid lessons consistently emerge, demons possess or harass people in a myriad of ways, even when they do not enter a body, and they are defeated decisively by the power of Christ and his church, and especially by invocations to the Blessed Mother. What follows is the Monsignor's insights into whether or not Judas was possessed by demons at the time of his betrayal of Jesus. Father Rossetti, this week in the Daily Liturgy we read the Gospel accounts of Judas' betrayal. It is ugly stuff. The scriptures say that Judas was a thief and took money from the common purse. Moreover, he conspired with the chief priests and temple officers on handing Jesus over to them. A real opening to the demonic. But was he possessed? The scriptures are clear and graphic, then Satan entered into Judas. Moreover, John's Gospel tells the exact moment in which Judas became possessed, after he took the morsel, Satan entered him. Some scholars believe that this refers to Judas having received the Eucharistic body of Christ without faith and actually as a betrayer. He immediately left the Last Supper and the Gospel says, it was night. In a very difficult exorcism some time ago, we were faced with hundreds of demons. We went through layers and layers of demonic cohorts, each captained by a different leader. At each point, I demanded to know that cohort leader's name, which helped in casting them out. When each leader left, his entire cohort left with him. At one point, demanding the name, I was surprised to hear the response, Judas. I further inquired, are you a demon using his name or the real human who betrayed Jesus? In a shout filled with shame, he answered that he was truly the man. Shortly thereafter, Judas was expelled. I asked how that happened, since I was not aware of him leaving. The demons said, she cast him out. Of course, they were referring to Mary, the mother of Jesus. While the church has never named anyone as definitively being in hell, Jesus himself said of Judas, it would be better for that man if he had never been born. Our Lady is calling, God bless and thank you for watching Mystic Post TV.